Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. What's up athletes, welcome back. So you're here today to get your six pack ab. Now I get asked this question often. Sherry, how long will it take me to get a six pack? Or how long did it take you to get your six pack? Now I'm gonna let you in on my little secret. I've never once had an intention to have a six pack, nor did I ever think about training to have one. But instead what I did is I focused on all of my habits, the habits that made the person who does have a six pack. Now, abs are made in the kitchen, so there is no other way about it. We cannot out-train inflammation, and we cannot out-train a diet that doesn't serve us. So instead, we want to focus on eating more of the foods that serve us, and then less of the food that doesn't serve us. Now, the foods that serve us are whole foods. These are foods that are found in nature. They're in their natural form. And the foods that don't serve us are those that are processed or have refined sugars, refined oils, refined grains, for example. And so instead of focusing on foods and looking at them as being good or bad, we don't want to label them. We just want to eat more of this and just less of that because we notice it doesn't serve us. Now, the other part of the equation is, of course, the training. So doing these HIIT workouts on my channel are going to help you not only put on lean body mass, but also really help you to burn fat because that's the goal behind high intensity interval training. We wanna get the heart rate up so that we do both tasks in one. We work on cardio and we work on strength. So if you're new here, let's go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. And then if you're also new here, let's go ahead and like this video and then maybe share with a friend so that you have an accountability partner to train with. All right, athletes, now let's get started. Today we're doing a five minute six pack workout and this is a no stop workout. So we've got 10 different movements. We're gonna move through each of them, working for 30 seconds, transitioning from one to the next without any breaks. Now I'll show you your first one because this is a wild card workout. And then you're gonna know what's coming up in this box above to know what to transition to next. Our first movement is going to start in a plank position. So let's go ahead and get into a plank position. Now I'll always recommend to you, if you wanna modify the plank to just maybe elevate your forearms onto a surface like a couch, or sometimes you see that I use these boxes here, but do your best to not go down onto the knees because it's not the same exercise. It, in terms of physics, the moment arm changes and then we don't challenge the body in the same way. In fact, it's almost difficult if not impossible to build up that strength to the full plank position so instead start in an incline position and then make your way down to the mat and before you know it you're going to be doing it down here with me all right so let's get into that plank position and then in this plank position we're going to push the upper body towards the ceiling and then we're going to bring the knee one at a time with control to the elbow now, really important that as we're doing this, we're not hiking up the hips. So try to keep that hip level. Try to push that upper back towards the sky. All right, ready to do this? Let's rock and roll in three, two, one, and go. So breathe, inhale, exhale. Try and really to drive that breath. Bring the knee to the elbow, but try to think of your body as a statue. Don't move the upper back. Watch the hips. Stay where you are and then continue to breathe here with me. Remember that the oxygen drives the movement. And remember again, push that upper back towards the ceiling. That's really where the magic is happening. We wanna engage that core. All right, let's go ahead and switch now to the V-sit. So on the bum, hands are here behind the back and then you're gonna lean back. Make sure you're not feeling this in the low back. Inhale and then exhale. You have the option to do one leg at a time if you wish. Otherwise, keep going. Continue to breathe, expanding on each one. And now get ready for your side plank on the left side. And we're gonna go onto the forearm. So let's go ahead, on the left side. You can stack your feet if you wish. Let's go ahead and do a rotation. And then 
a hip drop. Rotation, hip drop. And now, you still, again, you still notice that I am staying with control here. That's the goal. Always moving with control, especially when doing the core, because the slower you go, the more you connect with the muscles that are firing. All right, let's even it out on the other side. Switch quickly, let's go, let's go. And now really important, anytime you do unilateral movements, such as a side plank, you are always doing the same modification on each side. Good work. That's it, you got this. Get ready, we're coming back into our plank. All right, let's go back into the plank. And now we're gonna do our dolphin plank. So again, push that upper back towards the ceiling. You wanna feel that, oh man, the lower abs really burning. I'm feeling it, but stay with me. Remember, we're only working for 30 seconds, don't break. And then get ready to flip back into that V-sit position. Good job. Breathe, focus here. Three, two, one. All right, let's switch back. And now this time, we're gonna reach under. So hands together, extending one leg at a time, and then keeping your balance here. That's it. You got this. Get ready to sit back for a bicycle crunch. Three, two, one. All right, switch. Back into your bicycle crunch. And now this time, we're bringing the elbow to the opposite knee and really pushing the low back into the floor and staying in control the whole time. So if you're going faster than me, please slow it down. You're gonna get a lot more out of this movement if you slow it down. Five more seconds. And then get ready for your sprint crunch. So now imagine you're sprinting. So it looks very similar to the bicycle crunch, but now I'm really trying to bring my shoulder up as though I am sprinting in position. I know, I'm dying here, I'm feeling it. But I still gotta talk to you, so stay with me. That's it, keep it up, three, two, one, and now stay here, legs are up. We're gonna do a pendulum just on the left side. And now make sure both shoulders stay there. Don't lift up your shoulders. Stay nice and tight here. Option to keep the head on the floor if you wish. Inhale, oxygenate the muscle, then bring it back to starting. Get ready to switch. And now let's go to the other side. That's it, continue to breathe here. I know, I'm feeling you. Stay with me here. And athletes, if you have done this movement as prescribed without taking any modifications, now I invite you to stay consistent. If you consistently work out this way, then before you know it, you'll have results. And of course, couple that with a clean nutrition and break. All right, we went a couple seconds over, but we did it. Good work, athletes. Now, if you have it in you, repeat one more time or check out the other video I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete today's training. Now, I love to hear from you, so comment below. How was this and what else would you like to see? Do you wanna see more weights? Do you wanna see more abs? Do you wanna see more upper body? Let me know and I'll create that content for you. And as always, like this video and then remember to refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this. And you feel that this is your baby